Hey guys, welcome back to a new YouTube video. Sorry I haven't posted in a while because I didn't have any ideas, but I finally came up with one. A $10 budget. So, my handy notepad here and everything we're using. So, we're using three paint colors. These each were $1.25 at my dollar store. They might be different at yours. I'm using green, blue, and pink are my three colors. I got a pack of 50 for pom-poms, and I just got plain white ones, and I am only using 13, and those were a dollar. I have a canvas here. This is a 5x7 canvas, and that was a dollar twenty-five. I have some paintbrushes. I got like a pack of 10, and I'm only using two, and those were um, $2. There was a pack of 15, I think. And then I got some glue here for a dollar, and glitter, which is optional, but... 50 cents and I'm using turquoise and um I guess that's like a silverish and other stuff you're gonna need which you can just find hopefully at home um is a little painter's tray or instead of a painter's tray you can just squirt it on like a piece of cardboard or something and it'll work just the exact same way a pencil which everyone should have at home and some water and a cup to put it in so, first things first, we're going to open up our canvas. I've just started, so it's easy for me to open. Just opening that up. Okay, so, now, oh, also, I forgot, you're going to need a ruler. So, I'm actually going to section off this canvas here. So, is what I'm going to do is I just made a little design here on how I kind of want everything. So I'm going to follow that. So here, I want a line, so I'm going to draw the line right here, so then I have a triangle there. This is where the green paint's going, and then about, I'm trying to make this right, about right here, I'm going to put another line. So I'm just going to straighten that out a bit, and do a line. See? So now that I've made all three of my lines, there's three sections there for three separate colors. So, as you can see, I've already put them out in their paint trays. So, I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go in with my green. And you guys don't have to use these colors again. You can use your own colors or... And you don't have to put them the triangles the way I am. This is just how I want it. And I'm going to be painting this one right here so I'm going to quickly paint that up. So now I've done my green corner so now I'm going to move on to oops did my finger in that I think I'm going to move on to my blue which is this bottom one right here. And remember glitter is optional and pom poms they don't have to be white and they can also be optional if you want but these are just for we're actually going to glue them on the canvas so then we can have like a texture and then we're also going to be adding some glitter on it, of course. That is optional also. So I'm going to quickly do my blue up. So I have finished um, painting it. I accidentally went ahead and did my pink up. But there you go. So while this dries, I just want to share a little hack. With these pom-poms, of course, they're more compact, almost like a cotton ball. But if you don't have any pom-poms lying around your house, or if you don't want to go out and get some just to get pom-poms, I have a hack for you, is what you will need is yarn and scissors. So I'm going to quickly go grab some yarn. Okay, so I got my yarn, got my scissors. So you're going to take it, and with two or three fingers, I'm just going to do two, you're just going to wrap it around your fingers. As much as you want, remember the more you have, the thicker it gets. So I'm just going to quickly wrap some around my fingers. Okay, so after you're done wrapping it, Take it off your fingers and cut off an extra piece of yarn. I'm going to need to position my camera. Lay it down and place the ball on top of it. Then you're going to lift it up and you're going to tie it nice and tight so it stays together. And then with your scissors, you're going to go in the loops. And you're just going to, oh, it didn't work out. Okay, I'm going to try that again. Okay, so now that I have it wrapped, 
again, I had that, but I just tied it the wrong way. So do the opposite of what I did. I'm just cutting on some string. And then you're going to go in through the loops of it and just cut it. So you'll see a loop, you're going to cut it. You'll see some loops in here, you're just going to cut it. So that's why you wrapped it around your fingers, because you were actually making loops for yourself. Now these pom-poms are a lot more fluffy, okay? What I like to call this is now you're going to give your pom-pom a haircut. So you can trim it how you want, you can leave the long sides long, or you can trim it, which I'm doing here. There you go. And then I just like to push down here, roll it in between my hands, and then you have a nice little pom pom. These, this one's actually quite big, but you can still use it on here because they're nice and big and they'll be nice and fun to have on. Or you can put it on the top or something like on the corner. So I'm actually going to keep mine because I'm going to actually put it on. So, yeah, I'm going to quickly let my canvas dry completely. Let it dry completely before you add on your Mod Podge and your pom-poms. Okay, so before I let it fully dry, oh my gosh, my camera's shaking there. I'm actually going to, oh my god, I can't, I can't do this. Okay, there we go. So, I'm actually going to unscrew the lid here, grab a paintbrush, I'm going to take some glue, and each sec sec section of each color, I'm just going, as if I was painting, but with glue, I'm just going to go in there and glue it one by one because they're not fully dry yet. So that means the colors might mix together. So that's why I'm just going in with glue. So this is for our glitter to stick. So I'm just adding a little bit. You don't need a lot of glitter. Some pink actually came onto here, but it'll just dry clear anyways. So, once you have that all on, I've just evenly distributed it along. Sorry, bags keep creaking. So I've now spread it all the way over. I'm going to open up my glitter on top of something. Hey, this stuff's so hard to open. <gasps> Okay, so that happened, but anyways, I cleaned it up mostly. I'm just going to clean, open this over here. And I'm going to take a dry brush, and I'm just going to dip it in my glitter. And I'm just going to click on it so then all the glitter just kind of falls out on its own. You can do as much or as little as you like. Just, you know, have fun with it. So, next, is our next color. Okay, so my cat decided to join me, but I'm going to now carefully open my silver glitter, take my dry paintbrush, and just dazzle it all over it there. Anywhere you'd like, as much as you'd like. Then I'm just going to blow it some... All of it basically just kind of goes off. And then let your Mod Podge fully dry with this glitter. And then we can start adding our pom poms. Okay, so Mod Podge for me is fully dried. So just going to open back up my Mod Podge. Ooh. I have to put my glitter away. That's clearly it. I already made a mess of that. I don't need more of one. Oh. Putting my glitter away, and then I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to dump it on here. So then I have some. There we go. Swoop. Okay. So now for the fun part, you can add these um, pom poms whatever you would like. So take a pom pom. I'm not really sure if Mod Podge will hold it. Hot glue might do better, but if yours do fall off, then hot glue. So we're gonna take some Mod Podge. Put it on the pom pom and then find a spot where you want it. I want it right here in the green. Put a little dot 
and smush it down. Remember, my Mod Podge dries dry, so, and continue to do that until you are happy with all of your pom-pom placements. You can add as much or as little as you like. So I'm going to come back when I am finished. Okay, so I have finished adding all of my pom-poms. Oh, I don't even have a piece of paper towel. Um, all the pom-poms that I want. I'm happy with how much I have. I'll show you guys in a minute. They aren't dry yet, so some of them might roll off, but that's okay. So I actually kind of have them on there. I find them pretty cute because it adds like a nice little touch to it. And you can use these homemade ones the exact same way. Like, oh, that one, that one likes to move apparently. I'm just going to dip that in some Mod Podge. Stick that back. But you can basically take your homemade pom pom and, you know, put it in place. It's just a lot bigger. You can make them a lot smaller. That just means a lot thicker. So whenever yours are done, when it's dry, you're able to, you know, flip your canvas and everything, and they won't move. But mine's not dry yet, so I'm not going to do that yet. But when it is dry, it'll be dry. You'll know they won't fall, they won't move. And, yeah. And if they do start to fall off, then use hot glue and they should stick on. And that's it for this video. So if you guys could like and subscribe, that'd be great. And see you guys next time.